The countdown begins as 19 more days remain for the Kawata candidates to sell their manifestos to the residents. This follows the death of Member of Parliament Levim Kandawire in November last year. Now the residents are preparing to have a new representative in the National Assembly who will fight their case. But what do the people of Kawata want addressed? When we talk about the roads, the drainage system, we do not have something that we can call, you know, it's a drainage. And when we talk about the market, you can't even like it, you know, shopping from there because we need, you know, modern infrastructure. I think we, are, we really need a little change here in Kawata. We have, as you can see, we have drainage issues and everything. Aside development, one prominent matter is the issue of empowerment. I know that a lot of youths here take a lot of alcohol, but with a, a mind creative of an MP, not just looking for a seed of money, bring together the youths, lobby for the money, doesn't matter where one is coming from, build these youths. The expectation from the member of parliament, the one who is going to be voted, uh, we want to, uh, him to work out on this illegal bars, which they don't have my licenses, and most of the youth here, they are drinking carrots. Anywhere you find people are selling alcohol, kachasu, tujirijiri, like that. So at least if the incoming member of parliament should take looks at all these things. Seven candidates are vying for the Kawata parliamentary seat after successfully filing in their nominations. Among the political parties that have filed in, are the Economic Equity Party, People's Alliance for Change, United Progressive Party, Patriotic Front and Socialist Party. Other parties are the United Party for National Development and the Patriots for Economic Progress. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.